track mat luma versus alpha video on video i'm using three transitions uh types of video to show you the first one is the ice transition using a normal alpha and let's have a look and see what is inside right we've got three layers here uh the bottom layer is the blue man video and the second layer here is the yellow man video so we're going to put this uh, ice transition on top of the yellow man re uh, video so we're going to review the blue man below the yellow man video so what you need to do is add the yellow man video scroll down here and go into mat track mat there's none so we are going to find this ice transition okay so when you when you, when you play the video head here you'll see that there's a transition because the yellow man video has been masked into the ice yeah so with that then you will be able to review the blue man uh, video here so without that it will be like the normal okay so like this is the normal one and you can't see the blue man video at the bottom okay let's go back to here and have a look at the track mat so the track mat here we're going to have back the ice transition so at the moment my setting here is for luma all right you can try it out and see what's the difference between alpha and luma so let's have a look at alpha there's not much difference between alpha and luma in this case because uh, both videos also have both channels of the rgb and the other one will just show more or less of the uh, brightness so i'm going to stick back with luma and then the second and the third video later on i'm going to show you using uh, alpha so this one is not inverted what happens if i put inverted that means that it will start to show the blue man's video first and then the yellow man video is at the bottom that's not what i want so what i want here is the yellow man video on top of the blue man so the, the yellow man video is masked into the eyes okay so i don't put that in better now you can see this in 3d format the bottom layer is blue the top layer is uh, yellow and then the transition and the whole idea is to mask the yellow video with the ice transition or whatever transition you could use to review the blue video at the bottom this second one is using the smoke transition uh, same video i'm going to mask the yellow video over to the smoke overlay and let's see what's inside and it's only using alpha and inverted so as you can see here i'm going to look at the yellow man video at the beginning okay and we are going to see what is inside this track map so track map is using smoke yeah and it's alpha and it's not luma so I'm, I've inverted it so that this the other way around. That means you see the yellow man video first and then transit into the blue man's video. But if you are going to revert it, okay, this is a third transition, but this time I'm going to use Ink Splash. I, this is one of my favorite, and the setting is Luma inverted. And you see a bit of difference here. Also, starting with the uh, yellow man video first, then only let's have a look and see what's inside here click on the yellow man video and you can see that i'm starting off with the yellow man video and mask it into the ink splash to review a subtle part of the blue okay this is good for the halloween <laughs> projects all right and let's have a look and see what's inside the um, mask here so i use luma and i use inverted okay so if you use alpha then you can't see anything see the difference here yeah so this is a luma kind of a file and not an alpha because there's nothing for them uh, to review so you must use the luma for this type of uh, 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 ink splash so ink splash i got it from uh, pixabay the rest of the two are from create studio itself so it depends on what kind of uh, overlay transitions that you receive so play around and test it between alpha and luma okay and then of course you have the inverted and i will go on to the opposite side so have fun